And there's the last one. The last star of Galaxy 2. Okay, and there is Flip Out Prankster Comet. I'm really curious to what this is. Cosmic Clone Wall, of course. How could I, how could I not predict this? Okay. I thought this level was a little lame and a little forgettable. This will make it a little more interesting. Okay. Oh, what? This is the hardest plan. They're not even giving us a Shadow Clone Chase. Oh, it's gonna be right here. Yep. Son of a bitch. Okay, this is gonna be really tricky on some of these sections, so I just gotta be really mindful of where I am going. Go. As long as I keep moving and don't backtrack too much, I should be fine. See, like, like right there, I almost got hit just from initiating the wall jump, so that's what I'm a little worried about. Still checkpoint flags, though. Oh god, this is this is my huge mistake. This is my big mistake. I don't know what I was thinking right there. Okay, let's try this again. Go. Oh god. Oh no. There we go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, this is bad. This is bad, bad, bad. This is bad. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That was close. I love that, like, the clones copy everything you do, including grabbing their butt and running around like a maniac in situations like that. Oh, shit. Oh my god, I'm dead. God damn it, I completely panicked right there. I suck at this game. Okay, this is where it counts. No, god. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> this is where it's really shitty right here. Oh my god. That... That happened so many fucking times when I was trying to get the Comet Medal. God damn it. There we go, Jesus Christ. If you bonk on that wall for no reason, the game will just decide that you'll bonk on the wall sometimes when you're wall jumping up. You die immediately. There is nothing to save you from from death, and it's really, really annoying because it's at the end of the level too. So, another frustrating thing. Great. <sighs> Frustrations aside, though. We just got 120 stars. Galaxy complete indeed. No, like really, galaxy complete. Huh? Oh, really? Okay, so... With 120 stars, 100% completion, now I get to get to the nitty-gritty so uh, let's just go over where the hell did those green guys come up now I gotta go on a wild goose chase there they are what do these guys have to say oh really what about you mm-hmm no well no shit Sherlock anyway so now I have to get into the nitty-gritty of it and that is the fact that uh, yeah you might notice in world s there is something missing here. There is should be another level, and the fact is, there is. But getting that level requires getting 120 green stars. Now, what green stars are is once we beat the game again, green stars will spawn in every single level of the game. And what essentially green stars is are just hide-and-seek missions where you have to go to each level of the game and find a green star. Um... And they're just in completely random places, so, like, they could just be high above, they could be behind a wall or something, they're in all sorts of nooks and crannies of the levels. 
Um, and the most annoying part about green stars is the fact that, unlike something like Mario Odyssey where you collect a power moon and then you keep going on your merry way, with green stars, you collect one, you're booted out of the level. So, and most levels have like two or three green stars, so you have to go back and forth between the levels just wandering to find these green stars and at the end of the day I think it's I think it's cool that the end game isn't just play as Luigi it's cool that it's actually new content for the second 120 stars but the fact is it's it's gonna be a nightmare for you guys to watch it, it'll just be boring and there's nothing really worthwhile to show in that quest with the exception of one final level but to get to that final level, we're actually going to have to do a little bit of uh, file swap slash dimension warping. Let's go! And we're here. Here's my completed save file with all 242 stars. Yes, you heard me correctly. And yes, just, just collecting every single green star on camera would just be... I wouldn't mind doing it personally, but... Honestly, it'd just be boring to sit through another 20 parts of essentially the same thing. Especially with a lot, all the editing I'd have to do while wandering aimlessly to find all of them. But yes, your reward for getting every single green star, totaling to 240 total, is one final level. The Grandmaster Galaxy. Needless to say, this level is extremely difficult. Let's fucking do this. Okay, so the Grandmaster Galaxy, the ultimate test, which is the uh, pussy version of the level, and the perfect run, the Daredevil variety. Let's just skip right to the good stuff, shall we? Bring it on. Okay, welcome to the Grandmaster Galaxy. This is, without a doubt, the hardest level in Galaxy 2. Uh, did I seriously die? <laughs> okay, as I was saying, welcome to the Grandmaster Galaxy. This is, without a doubt, the hardest Mario level in, uh, in 3D Mario, I'd say. The only one I'd say that comes close or... Well, I guess, depending on who you ask, some might say it's harder, but Champion's Road from 3D World is also an extremely tough level. Um, especially because the 3D World physics are definitely a lot different than Mario Galaxy. But uh, anyway, uh, this is a test of all of the platforming, uh, platforming lessons you've learned throughout the game. Uh, a lot of returning mechanics, and uh, a lot of them are put uh, to the hardest they've ever been. Thankfully, not all of Grandmaster Galaxy is like an unbelievably hard nightmare. That first section, once you do it a couple times, isn't actually that bad. This section is a walk in the park. If you keep, if you, once you find like a good pattern to like take the blocks on, like you kind of have to like try and get hit by the lasers, so it's actually not that bad. This cloud section is where things get a little bit trickier, but muscle memory has been <laughs> bleeding me right so far, so let's see how good I do. Okay, for this section you're going to want to make frequent use of long jumping and especially the crouch jump because as you can see you can go really really far just because of how uh, how the uh, currents work uh, with uh, with the wind as you can see. Also the crouch jump is really good for getting really good air really easily. Darn it. Okay, so one thing about that section that you're going to want to do is try and make it to the launch star with as many clouds remaining as possible because if this isn't the hardest section of Grandmaster Galaxy, Galaxy, it's definitely the second hardest. So uh, let's see how I do. You're really going to want the cloud just because it really helps as a buffer because these uh, lasers can be unpredictable to say the least. As you can see right here, this one's firing at me on a weird angle right now, so I'm going to actually pop one of these and uh, this is the final section right here and uh, you can actually use a uh, well-timed cloud right there to just skip the entire thing which is why it's really important that you come into the section with I'd say at least two clouds just because of how much it helps um, but we actually did that relatively easily on our first try and uh, this guy might kill me okay good 
You can actually skip this last part just by long jumping over here. And uh, this part isn't actually that bad, as long as you just take it slow and steady. These Goombas shouldn't be too much of an issue. You just gotta take it really slow and not play risky. Uh, especially with these uh, laser cannons right here. Oh god, that was risky. <laughs> right as I said, don't play it risky. Risky! Oh god! Okay, I'm not gonna play that risky. Oh god, that's close. Okay, there we go. Okay, and we gotta use momentum for this last part. There we go. Okay. Now it's the final part. <laughs> We're already at the end here. <laughs> Okay, remember when I said that one scream with all the flip flops was the uh, hardest level? I lied. It's probably this, because doing this on a Daredevil Comet is actually insane. <laughs> like, how. Look up ahead how many freaking Hammer Brothers there are, and we gotta get through this without taking a single goddamn hit. It's about as awful as you think it is. Go. Oh. oh, okay. What? What did I hit? No! Oh my god. I don't know how I uh, how I got hit before. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> I did it! Oh my god, I was so close to doing that on my first try too. I think I, my hammer hit his boomerang, like the frame that he threw it or something dumb like that. Oh my god, we did it. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna lie by the way that hammer brother room was my second try like I actually did it on my second try too so thank God <laughs> Okay, and your reward for beating the perfect run is Rosalina Yeah, may the force be with you too Rosalina <laughs> And here's the final star of the game. Uh, ignore the fact that it's gray. I, I totally earned this, right? Uh, first, uh, this is a brand new file. I totally, totally haven't gotten this before. But that's it. Grandmaster. We are a Grandmaster of Galaxies. Sweet, 242. Man, collecting those green stars really went by quick. Oh, by the way, another reward for beating the perfect run is that, yeah, Rosalina hangs out on the on the uh, Starship Mario for you now. Which is pretty cool, even though she only has, like, two lines of dialogue, so it kind of feels a little lame, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess you can take what you get. But yeah, as you can see, pr pretty much every galaxy has at least two green stars to collect, and uh, yeah, it's just... It's a nightmare. No green stars on uh, Grandmaster, thankfully. But anyway, I know what you're all thinking. Yes, we've just taken care of Grandmaster, but there is a little something I'm forgetting. We still haven't beaten Bowser in the uh, other dimension, you know, the dimension that most of the playthrough actually took place in. So let's actually dimension warp back there and take out that, uh, I was about to say Green Goblin, take out that Green Dino once and for all. 